Yo, what's going on my print peeps? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. Today, we're going to be upgrading the 10 watt uh, laser module with a 20 watt uh, laser module. Again, just like in my video of doing the extension table, there is like a four or five minute no commentary video on the Xtool website. So if you want to follow that, and if you can follow that with just with no commentary, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, if you want some just more in-depth and, and hopefully close-ups and just a little more ex explanation on, on what is going on, uh, then you can just stay and watch this video and hopefully it uh, helps you upgrade your D1, x D1 to the 20 watt laser. So let's get to it. So I will say, I think the only downfall to this is I believe uh, it's going to be a beefier module. So it's going to need the actual power cable here and it has an actual another one that is going to be right next to it it's going to run to its, its own power supply so you have the power supply coming at the end of the table plus the power the power supply coming from the laser module so you'll need two outlets to run this machine instead of just one so that's the only negative i see to it but uh if you got the power requirements to do that then you should have uh, no issues at all uh, there is a uh a quick very quick and very very short of words uh, more picture book than anything uh, kind of like the video is more just video than actual uh, talking talking you through it we're gonna go ahead and unpack everything and then we'll show you everything that we got and uh, try and zoom through this as quick as possible all right so here is the 20 watt it definitely is a lot bigger all right this is the uh, shield this is only used if you're not going to be using air assist. So if you just do engraving jobs, like you use this just for engraving, you're not going to do any cutting. You really don't need an air assist. Uh, and you can put the, the shield on for the 20 watt. This is way bigger than the actual 10 watt. So this will fit onto here. Uh, but this one has the... Uh, for the air assist, we'll take it out and show you, but this has the shield for the air assist. And then here goes the cable. The top one is the cable, and that's gonna be the extra port. There's gonna be two ports on the 20 watt. You only have one port or one connection on the 10 watt, uh, but you have a second connection here, and then it also has its own power supply. So you will need two outlets, uh, as far as I can tell. I will say packaging with X-Tool, the packaging is on point. And X-Tool, as far as what I can see, everything that I've unboxed uh, comes very well packed and it's very organized in the way they put their stuff together. So big ups to X-Tool for, for the packaging. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove this cable from this uh, slot here. And then we're going to unlock which is just turning the, the lever up and we're going to remove the module and then we will disconnect the cable. Again, if you have fat fingers like me or anything like you can't reach in here, uh, just push the little clip and unlock it and then you can use a screwdriver to just help you move that um, connector and to get it out of there okay we'll set that aside we did keep the plastic bag for the 10 watt so we'll put the 10 watt in the plastic bag and uh, we'll make sure we put it in a safe place always keep this in case the 20 watt ever goes out it may take longer but at least your jobs will still run until you can get that replaced in the bag you have two uh, hex wrenches that are included. You have a focal point device, it's a metal. You have a, a new lever piece. You have the um, beginning uh, port for the air assist. 
so that you can put your air assist wire uh, or hose into here and we'll put this on here just so no dust or what nothing gets in there and then you have two small screws they're like set screws I'm going to leave these in here until I need them I know I usually usually use my own hex wrenches uh, but I'm going to use these just to show you that these work obviously we're going to hold the lever and we're going to unlock it and we're going to unscrew it so you have several parts to the lever piece and um, we'll unscrew this so you have the shaft the screw the spring and the lever part so I'm going to put it back together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spring on the larger opening the other side is a small opening and then I'm going to put the shaft on this side and then the screw in <clears throat> so it'll be just like that I don't know how well you can see that and then I'm just going to start screwing in the screw until it stops okay all right so the shorter one is from the 10 watt the longer one is from the 20 watt let's go ahead and let's go ahead and disassemble the newer one that we received be careful there is a spring in there so don't let it pop out okay and so now we will put it back in reverse how we took the other one off we're going to put this through the hole and we're going to screw it in all the way until we see it coming out of the slot okay so now that it is barely I can see it almost coming out the inside we're going to go ahead and insert the laser all right so the laser is going to go like this we'll put it down about I don't know halfway or so and we're going to turn this until it stops okay when it, when it stops you just try and turn it as hard as you can with your hand you don't need the the screwdriver or or, or a wrench or anything like that it'll hold so now we're going to put it back together you have an open side and a side with the hex design that hex is going to go on the inside of that screw there so now that we have it tight and the laser is not moving anywhere we want to put this in the down position as if it's already tightened that way when we lift it up it'll loosen it'll unscrew and it'll loosen up the the laser module but we're going to put the screw in there and then we'll get the uh, or the spring and then we'll put the screw and we will probably put it maybe like right there at an angle I think that's good enough let's get this the screw onto the hex wrench first put it through the spring hold it in there pull it out rotate it okay hold the screw take it out rotate it and then you should be good after that and then we'll just use this to tighten it up and don't worry uh, the spring inside allows you to move this in and out so you're not just stuck in that position you can always move it after the fact so I'm just gonna keep doing this until I screw it until it's tight in there all right you saw how the uh, the lever went down a little bit hold the lever and tighten the screw and now you should be good so let's test it out we will unlock it there it goes goes up and down and then we take the uh, lever and push it down and if you don't like it that far at a 90 degree angle you can pull it out and then you can go up a little bit and there it's set at a more uh, upper angle and you can unlock it and goes up and down and then lock it back down and there you go alright so the next thing we want to do is we'll unlock it and pull this out so now we're going to put the air assist part in here and we will tighten that closed 
Now this does move. Okay, so you just want to make sure it's in the up position because that's where your uh, hose is going to go, your air hose, and then into this uh, port right here. Uh, but that should be good. Hand tight should be good enough. If you need it tighter, there is a, a hex or a um, where you can put a small wrench on there and uh, tighten it up if you need to. All right, the next step will include the original connector as well as the included uh, power connector as well because it needs more power. They also included a bunch of zip ties. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in. Okay, it's seated in and I heard the little clip snap close. Now I'm going to take the included wire and I am going to put it with the connectors. You'll see shiny connectors and then you'll see two little bumps there on the head. Put the shiny connectors on the back end. And then you can use your fingernail or a small screwdriver and just push those down. And this one does not clip, it just slides right in there. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is we we'll want to slide the cable into the slot of the module. And then we'll slide this one along with it. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run this along the ribbon cable okay just like that and so we'll start at the very beginning and we'll keep them together just like that it doesn't need to be too tight just enough so that they sit snug together and then we're going to run this along and we'll do a couple of them we'll probably do this one running along this edge right here And then I'll run another one right before here. I'm not going to cut these off. I'm just going to run the cable on the back side. And that way it will, it will help me to just save these. So I'm just going to add another one. I'm going to run this along here. And um, Okay, so I'll make sure. This still runs good all the way to the edge and that's good okay so now just tighten it a little bit and we'll tighten this a little bit and tighten this a little bit more and then we will put another one probably here at the end so we will use one out of the uh, package that they sent us alright and we'll use one more from the package that they sent and we'll run this one just a little bit closer to the edge. And then this will just go to the adapter. And then the adapter goes to an outlet. And that's all that does. Alright, by default, the shield on the 20 watt has a new scale on there. Something that the 10 watt does not have. At least I don't see one on there. Uh, and this, that's because this one is more powerful. It can cut thicker materials. So right now it's set default at zero. And you can't go any further because the air assist is blocking it right there. All right, so we can only go up. There are two little set screws in there that you'll use your wrench. And you'll get in there and you'll untighten them or unscrew them. And for thicker materials like six millimeter eight millimeter and ten millimeter you will want to unscrew these and you will move to the edge to the bottom edge of the laser module you'll want to line it up with the three four and five uh, on the scale here and i'll say that separately here so for six millimeter you'll put it on three eight millimeter you'll put it on four on 10 millimeter you'll put it on the five mark there and then you'll screw it back in so uh, you'll just have to know and, and that's just for better cutting performance whether you need it or not you won't know until you cut whatever it is that you're cutting 
So leave it on zero. You will use the uh, the focal length bar as your default. But when you start using this scale here, so say like you have a 10 millimeters uh, of wood that you're going to be cutting through. You want to put that on five, right? So you'll take the screws or unscrew them, uh, pull them out until the um, until the shield is loose and then you'll make sure you evenly put it on five screw them back you will put the head or the laser module back in there all right so say like we have some 10 millimeter this is more than 10 millimeter but let's just say we have 10 millimeter piece of wood here remember we put it on the setting of five and then we will put we will un Hinge the module, we'll put the focal piece down and then we will put down the module until it hits the focal point. We will lock it and then we will move the focal piece out and then we will be set. This is pretty much only done for thick material like six inch or six millimeter, eight millimeter and 10 millimeter uh, wood or acrylic or whatever it is you're cutting, most likely wood. Alright, that was uh, somewhat painless. Uh, hopefully you uh, were able to follow along. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, let me know as always by giving it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you can. It helps out a lot. Uh, ding that little bell for future uploads. And um, that's it. Hope you're having a good day printing. We'll talk to you later. And until next time, peace.